the end of the day, what will really matter to Boris Johnson's future is what happens in the local elections on May the 5th. Now, remember, we were waiting for the full Sue Gray report, but it didn't happen because Cressida Dick, the boss of the Metropolitan Police, said they were launching their own investigations and we're beginning to get some of the fruits of that. But I wonder, is this a good use of police time given the other problems they face in this our national capital. Well, joining me is Chris Phillips, former Detective Chief Inspector of the Metropolitan Police. Chris, good evening. I, I just wonder, were you surprised when Cressida Dick announced that no, the police were going to investigate? Well, yes, but uh, there was quite clearly, Nigel, pressure from all sorts of angles to, for her to engage this investigation. Yeah, under any other circumstances, any other location, I don't think... Uh, an investigation into what are effectively very minor offences, albeit slightly different uh, in Downing Street, minor offences, this would not have been, uh, needed an investigation at all. So do you, I mean, is it your view that this is actually a waste of police time? Well, I think the police have got a lot of other things to do. And, uh, you know, my own view is that they're, uh, they've been taken up with some unusual and uh, maybe um, unnecessary investigations. Listen, you know, there's clearly was uh, some parties going on in, in Downing Street. It, clearly, the country wanted it investigated. So I think Cressida Dick quite, probably quite rightly thought that uh, that should be done. But uh, listen, there are all sorts of crimes happening in our cities, rapes and murders that uh, are much higher priority for policing. But those that are running this investigation, you know, we've heard about the first 20 fixed penalty notices, but our political editor, Darren McCaffrey, made the point that if in the course of the next days or weeks, a fixed penalty notice was to be given to the prime minister, uh, you know, that could just be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Uh, there's a heck of a lot of pressure, isn't there, on the Met right now? Yeah, there is. And we mustn't get carried away with the severity of the offences. These these offences are ones that are kind of the equivalent of a speeding fine, if uh, if you can if you can understand that. It's it's at the lowest end of prosecutions. In fact, it's not a prosecution. It's a fixed penalty t uh, notice. Um, you know, they, the people that have been given these uh, fixed notices could decide to go to court. Probably unlikely, uh, and uh, then it could uh, could rise to criminal proceedings. But this is the whole point of these fixed penalty notices was to take away people from the minor crimes, minor incidents that uh, from the court proceedings. Yeah, I guess it's it's the political implications of all of this, of as perhaps, as I said earlier, uh, do as I say, not as I do, that mattered more uh, than the legal side of it. But I wonder uh, the timing of all of this. Um, is this the last hurrah for Cressida Dick as boss of the Met when this is all over? Is that when she goes? Well, I certainly she's due to go in the next couple of weeks. Uh, you know, in my view, it would be a sad loss. She's uh, she's been a police officer and understands policing uh, very well and has done a difficult job, a good job in very difficult circumstances, has made mistakes because police officers around the country, and particularly in London, will make mistakes. That's uh, that's the, the, the point. You know, they get millions of interactions with the public and some of those will go wrong. And at the end of the day, she bears the brunt of that. Yeah, and I mean, look, you know, you've been supportive over there in your comments, but let's face it, um, across the media, she's become a very unpopular figure. Um, but I guess in the modern day, given the level of scrutiny um, on individual police officers and given uh, that it's the boss uh, that in the end has to bear responsibility, uh, we saw that very much, I guess, in the Wayne Cousins case. I mean, that was seen to be reflective of the leadership of the Met Police, perhaps unfairly in some ways.